Thai was formed many years ago in the valley with the sole purpose of giving back by entrepreneurs who had made it successful. Now Thai is a global franchise and the objective we have is to mentor startups, to provide for an ecosystem where they can learn from successful entrepreneurs, to provide for funding, seed support, to bring forth issues around the startup ecosystem to the right regulatory authorities and to provide a platform for networking and knowledge exchange. And this is what every chapter including Thai Mumbai is doing today. India has evolved over the last few decades into really becoming a powerhouse in many areas. What started off as a revolution in technology is now spread across different industries and sectors. And today I'm proud to say that we have more than 100 unicorns in the country. Almost a quarter of them have been created in the last four to five months alone. This not only signals the growth and the rapid opportunity that the market in India provides, but more than anything else, a quarter of a trillion dollars of wealth and value has been created by some of these startup enterprises. And hence we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate the journey of each of these entrepreneurs to inspire many more stories from India and really push the country forward and the entrepreneurs forward into a stage to make India a hub of not only innovation, but of globally viable and scalable businesses. So this conference, we have called it the India Unicorn Summit, is to celebrate the stories of entrepreneurs who have through their journey struggled, but who have reached a milestone in their lives and in their, in their businesses and share very candidly those journeys, those battle scars, as well as take away for these entrepreneurs, the angels and the startups who are going to attend this conference. Today we have close to 3,000 such people who will participate and listen to 45 plus entrepreneurs and unicorns who will come and share their stories with them. And I think it's going to be a fantastic session of just sharing this knowledge. I think clearly the, the speakers, right? The speakers and the content that we have put together as a team is par excellence. It's right from the journey of how a company gets set up, what a startup goes through, right through value creation and what really happens post listing, which is a big milestone for many of these companies, right? And what we've done is all the sessions are curated by some of these founders coming and sharing these, these parts and components of the journeys themselves. We have a session which also captures what really Mumbai is all about and uh, stories from founders who've been from Mumbai, who've made Mumbai a vibrant ecosystem for entrepreneurship, come and talk about what we really need to do to build Mumbai into a vibrant ecosystem. We have stories from what we call Real Bharat Startup India, where companies and unicorns and sunicorns from the hinterland and tier two, tier three cities, and not just metro cities, will come and share their stories about really what it takes to grow and scale in markets where some of us really have no experience or exposure to, right? We have stories of what really has happened post listing for many of these unicorns and what the journey has been uh, right from day one to today. We have India's uh, earliest unicorns come and talk about uh, what they've been through over the last decade. And so I think there are lots and lots to take away. I think the, uh, the way I would look at you know, the whole ecosystem is today we have many companies that are scaling globally. Uh, at the same time, what we see today is close to 20-25% of these unicorns have gone and even set up global headquarters in different parts of the world. While we would like many of these unicorns to continue to be in India, I think it's also important that many of them step out and start creating a footprint and presence in different parts of the globe, that India really expands our entrepreneurial franchise to different countries. So that's, that's really one part. I think what, uh, what is important uh, from, from this perspective, what we, what we need to do is while we are driving growth and value creation, we have to balance it. We have to balance it with long-term sustainable growth and scalability. We have to balance the nexus of strong and scalable valuation with true value for every stakeholder, whether it's the shareholder, the investor, the employee, or the customer 
that these companies are servicing. And I think the time has come. The time has come where we've crossed the inflection point of challenging whether companies can grow in India to the point where we really need to think about how companies can sustain in India. So that's, that's where we are. Look, I think, uh, uh, let me be very open. Everybody's talking about unicorns today, right? Uh, I think when we were thinking about the whole forum and format of this conference, uh, one of the thoughts was that when we talk about unicorns, everybody only associates unicorns with a billion dollar valuation. I think it's only a one-sided story and we want to bring that out. I don't think it's just about valuation. We need to understand that a unicorn or any such startup or entrepreneur needs to look at every aspect of what makes a strong business. So we wanted to put the theme as the unicorn summit, but we wanted to put out all the other lessons that are very important that people just don't get carried away by the valuation number and what truly a unicorn means. So that's, that's really why we chose this theme. So this year, we have uh, done the entire conference in uh, a day. Usually our Tycon is two days where we have uh, lots and lots of sessions. We have parallel sessions, we have breakouts and everything else. Uh, but we also know that uh, lots of conferences have been happening. There's a lot of web webinar fatigue and we wanted to do a physical event. But we also wanted to do a very high power packed content rich event, which is why we decided to do it in one day. The other thing we wanted was we wanted to make it very founder driven. And because we called it the unicorn summit, we wanted to have as many unicorns in front of the audience to have open conversations. So and you will see that uh, and I'm confident that till date, we would not have had as many unicorns as we have in our conference on the 10th of June uh, as any other conference that has happened till date, right? So that is, that is what really is there. And I was telling you the theme of this conference stems right from the point of how we spot potential winners, right through the journey of growth, value creation, uh, to listing and post listing. So that's really the whole story that will unfold through the day. If you look at what has happened in the last few years, and what was accelerated by the pandemic, technology took center stage, right? There's been a huge amount of investment because of the way the disruption has taken place fueled by technology. India has been the base of and right in the epicenter of the technology revolution because today we are servicing and we are part of the growth of most of the global tech companies. Whether you look at a Microsoft or a Google or an Amazon, many of them are led by the Indian diaspora. The, my, the majority of the employee pool are Indians themselves. A lot of work by these corporations is happening in India. So there was no reason why we would have not been part of this phenomenal revolution and disruption and growth. And, and this, is, this, is, this is where I think it's very, very important to actually thematize where we go from here. I think the journey ahead is not going to be as simple and rosy as it had been, right? While a lot of tailwinds have taken place in the last few years, we feel that uh, a reality check is coming in as well, right? And in that reality check, what, will, what companies will do in terms of prudently managing their cash, in terms of really keeping their teams together, in terms of how driving growth, keeping investor confidence and everything else will really separate the winners from those who will will struggle, right? And there are many, many companies who are aspiring uh, for rapid growth, for the unicorn uh, status. And I think it's important that while they're going on this journey, they do not stumble uh, and take some of these realities into account uh, because this is going to be the new reality going forward. At the end of the day, all, a lot of what we do and get driven by is inspiration. And this is really, really what we are trying to do in this conference and real inspiration. I don't think this conference and this event is about the big talk or uh, really advertising about what each one's greatness is. This conference is very candid conversations and frank questions and answers on what really the journey is, because many of these are not easy journeys, right? I think if one really sits with that honesty, and uh, asks the right questions and engages with the speakers who we have lined up with a lot of thought and care 
right? I think uh, there'll, be, there'll be significant value to take away. I think there's lots to do from where we are. And uh, uh, one is, uh, while we have a few cities who, uh, who are on the map, uh, we are peaking there. We're peaking there with respect to infrastructure. Uh, we need a lot more uh, ecosystems and hubs to be created. We need talent to be available and skillable talent to be available. What we have today is lots of talent, but at the same time, we have a huge shortage of talent. That is a dichotomy, right? Today, the reality of the situation is many of the unicorns are in fact evaluating and thinking about setting up headquarters abroad. And that, why is that happening? We have to make sure that the environment we are providing to some of these companies is conducive for them to be here and grow here and not really think about moving base. Because if they move base, a lot of the focus goes. I think the third is, today, we are at the cusp of growth in, in the world order, right? And, and that really means that as founders, they have to think about responsibly deploying, raising, and using the capital and resources that we have. And the next era is not going to be about the businesses that were set up uh, you know, years ago. The next era is going to be about much more sustainable businesses. And uh, we need to inculcate that mindset uh, if, we, if we really have to achieve what you're talking about. I think we've just got started. At Thai, we are very optimistic about the future India holds. We are very optimistic about the talent and the innovation and the drive, more importantly, that we see in India. I think what is really needed is for some of these ecosystems to continue giving, for some of the mentors and founders who have made it to give back to the communities, which is why Thai forums like Thai exist. And we really, really need some bold thinking by the entrepreneurs here with strong support from the government. I, I have no doubt that India will continue to lead uh, in the global map. The innovation that is coming out from here uh, will find markets in different parts of the world. Uh, and we at Thai are fully committed to doing that. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.